Hello Aries, welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. It's good to have you back, it's good to be back. This is a video with Mercury sitting in Virgo, so it's all about your communication, cleaning up communication, being open and honest about what you want to say here, and how you're taking communication, okay? Putting action behind your communication as well. It's all about your performance, and your presentation okay all right Aries I did pull your spread to die down some time here and it looks pretty beautiful but we're going to head straight into prayer okay I'd like to take this time to thank the universe for the Sun the moon the stars we like to say thank you for waking us up putting us to sleep and giving us a second chance and helping us clear out our communication we would like to ask for love, light, and balance, inspiration, and clarity, and protection. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. Okay, Aries. This video is for Aries Sun and Mercury in Aries. Um, if you would like to know where your Mercury sits in your chart, because you should, you have to know that Aries sits in your chart. This is a general reading. So, but uh, you can go to cafeastrology.com, and you need your name, birthday time you were born, where you were born, okay? You don't necessarily need all that information, Aries, but all of it helps, okay? Aries, the overall energy around your communication with Mercury and uh, with Virgo and Mercury here is child. There's a new opportunity here, Aries. A new opportunity to express yourself, a new opportunity to open up. There could also be... Um, a job offer, um, an opportunity to speak at the job as well. Give yourself, give yourself permission to play. Okay, so it's time to be creative, and this is around grounding yourself and your finances as well. Here, yeah, this is something new, but it's like a big high five from the universe here. Okay, five, five dollar, five dollar foot long. Hey, hey, hey. Some of you are taking this uh, opportunity to most definitely clear up your communication and you're speaking about what you want to do here. It could be connected to what you're eating here. You most definitely need to speak from your heart. You are protected here, but the overall energy is like a big high five from the universe. Congratulations. Here's your new opportunity. And of course, someone could be with child around you, okay? But this is the time to go back to what makes you happy. Some um, Aries, just, you know, got to call it how I see it. Some people could be childish as well, you know. And this is the chance to clear up your communication, okay? If you, this energy is around you, but this person, you could help this person with their communication here. Yeah, you could also, yeah, you could most definitely help. With this communication, somebody could most definitely be pregnant and keeping it to themselves here. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo, but there's strong Capricorn energy here um, in your energy. But someone has a new opportunity. Someone is changing the way they speak. Someone's finances is different as well here. Aries. Aries sun. Yeah, there's success here. There's a big, big change. For sure. Aries, I did pull your spread out of the Dream Oracle deck. And we're clarifying with the Ghost Spirits Tarot. Okay. At the bottom of the Dream Oracle deck was the Seven of Pentacles, the person wallet here, investments here, opening up here, opening up your mind. This is also gifting here as well. So there could be a balance to things here as well, Aries. Yes. Somebody is going to open up about this new opportunity, about how they truly feel here, and about what they want to do. Like I said, it's, it's connected to your emotions and to your finances, to grounding yourself here. Aries, there could be two different women around you as well, two different women with two different opportunities here. You could also have two people pregnant. Jesus. Yes, you could be very indecisive about who you want to start something with, who, who you want to hold on to here. You could be dealing with the um, 
Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here, or like I said, strong Earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo, but strong Capricorn energy. Your mental space with Mercury and Virgo here is dance. Dance, dance. You could be dealing with a lot of people here, or you could uh, the mental conflict could be cheating here as well. Here, you could also have a Sagittarius on the mind here, so you could be thinking about stepping out and cheating Aries here, or you could feel cheated on. Move to the rhythm of your own soul here. Trust yourself, okay? Ask questions if you need to as well, Aries, okay? But they, the mental conflict is getting around people. It's also celebrating this new opportunity here, coming out about what you were holding on to here. And expressing it. I'm getting cooking here too as well here. You want to move away from this third party situation here. You could also want to go to the party here. You could feel like someone has a hold on you as well. Aries. Sun and Mercury and Aries here. And you want to communicate about this. Like I want to leave this third party situation alone. I want to leave all this partying here alone here as well. There's a little a bit of irritation here as well. Some of you could feel like you're losing control of the situation here. Some of you have something like a new opportunity that you could give to someone else to help them out. And you could be refusing here. Because someone is reaching out for help. Either someone wants to be involved in third party situation. They want to work together. They want to plan something here as well. Yeah, they have a lot of faith in it, but someone is most definitely holding back. They're most definitely holding back. The mental space is carrying Sagittarius, Pisces, and Scorpio energy here, okay? The Capricorn could be agitated. For sure, for sure. And just not speaking up about it as well. What's on the heart space is guide. Knowing where you want to go and speaking your truth here. You want to speak up about the situation. You want to go to this person and tell how it is and what you you feel. I don't know how that thing got in here. <laughs> follow, the, follow in the footsteps of greatness here. Speak your truth. Tell the truth. Tell what you... Some of you... It can speak to spirit. You feel like you can. And you are kind of ready to open up and express that here. This is the new opportunity. Can you step into it? Can you truly communicate with spirit? Or can you bring these people together? You feel like, some of you even feel like going after the truth and finding the truth. Yeah. Finding which, how you truly feel and finding the words to end a cycle and close doors here. Here, and some of you could, you feel like going back to God. You could also feel like going to a tarot reader or someone really, really spiritual. Someone you feel like that can direct you in the right place here. Because you want out of this third party situation here. You don't want to do this anymore. You don't feel good about it anymore. Some of you want to be alone. Some of you are self-reflecting so you can speak the truth. Okay, you're not responsible for how they feel, Aries, Sun and Mercury and Aries. Your only responsibility is how it comes out of your mouth. You could also have an air sign on the heart space. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. There's a seven of cups again. Yeah, you most definitely want to speak up about this confusion, about all these offers, about the things that don't make you happy here, about the things that you want to get rid of as well. Yeah. And you do want to go to a psychic or someone you feel like that is very, very intuitive that could possibly help you out the situation or into it. But somebody holds a piece of the puzzle and you know that here. Yeah. Yeah. There's clarity coming in about a relationship here as well. There's karma here, but there's most definitely clarity about a relationship And someone is really, really intuitive. Okay. You got to, someone has skeletons in their closet as well. And they need to open up and express about that as well. This could be you or you just feel this way. Some of you just feel very intuitive and feel like you can go for it. Okay. 
what you need to be aware of. Be aware that you could be really intuitive here. Be aware of the way you're getting back and the things that you are saying to people here. Don't bite your tongue and don't bite the hand that feeds you, baby. Release attachments to what was and prepare for what is to come. Be aware of a Scorpio and be aware of how the give back. Be aware that there, there could be a death here or something is coming back around. Aries, Sun, and Mercury, and Aries. Somebody is coming back around a situation that you could have ended here. It's not over. You, there, there needs to be some closure, though. Okay. There could be a couple of people coming around to speak their truth to you. Uh, be aware of what you're saying back to them. Your responsibility is what comes out your mouth. And how you how will you accept what comes out there? Okay. Be aware of this arguing here. Be aware of not wanting things to end as well, Aries. Be aware of self-sabotaging. Be aware that God is watching too. Yeah. You need to cut out the BS here. Okay. Cut out all this. I can't do it. Cut out the negative. <laughs> Cut out the negative within a situation and change your perspective because there's a need for a transition. There's a need to see the situation in a different way here, okay? There's a need to cut out the BS for sure and speak up. Some of you be aware that um, someone could pass, right? And you, everybody knows that you're putting on a show. You could just be too dramatic about it and everybody knows, okay? And if this is not you, Aries, Sun, or Mercury, and Aries, someone around you could be acting like this and you peep game. Be aware. Yeah, you most definitely need to release here. Aries, be aware that someone is about to release here and accept it. Also accept karma for what it is here. Speak from your truth. There is a need to heal here. There is a change here in your action. There's a change in your communication. There's a change in your finances as well here. But someone is someone is letting go. Okay, they're cutting out the BS. They're cutting out the arguing. And they're out the door. Okay, and I'm going to tell you like this too. God told him to. God told him to. I wouldn't fight this person. Yeah. Someone could also get caught cheating. Okay. Yep. Leaving, trying to leave without a notice. And you could catch him. All right. Aries, the most likely outcome for you with Mercury and Virgo here is Angel. It's, un, it's unknown here. You most definitely have to trust in your intuition. That's how you will find out where to go. That's how you will find out what to say here, Aries. Tap into your higher wisdom here. All right. You could also be dealing with a, um, a divine feminine here. And if you are a female, you feel like you are a divine feminine. You feel very intuitive. You feel like you can change the world. Or Aries is somebody around you here. There's an unknown second chance here, Aries, here. Uh, even with God. And Aries, um, a Scorpio or a Pisces is going into judgment. Or they could be coming back and asking for a second chance as well. But God saw. Okay? God saw you struggling. God saw you trying to get through the op oppositions here. Um Follow your intuition. That's my best advice. If you follow your intuition, you'll walk right to where you need to be. If it's in a relationship, you'll walk right to it. If it's a home, if it's stability, if it's a second chance, if it's an apology, you'll walk straight into it if you uh, trust your intuition. Right now, when it comes to, or you'll speak your way into this, because it is Mercury and Virgo. You'll speak it and then the action will follow. And you'll be at the right place at the right time. You'll be able to balance out. You'll be able to, to go in to help. I don't really see you staying. If you do have to go in and talk to these people, you don't, you don't stay too long here. Aries, there is death here. I do see that. Someone is getting a second chance, Aries, at life. That's changing your perspective. 
about death. I don't see you upset about this. Even if you are upset, you changed your perspective at the end of the day. So you kind of accept it here. Somebody is leaving though, Aries. They're going after what they love here. Or this transition, they're going back to our father, back to our heavenly father here, back to my best friend to get this judgment call, okay? So they can have a second chance, so they can come back to be a better person. Aries, or this is you. God finally sees what was going on and he's giving you a second chance to go after what you love. Not how everybody else how you wants you to live, but what you love, what you want to do. Okay? Remember, because there's reinvestments here. You're going back and you're, you're fixing things for sure. There's some worry about communication. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Aries. Aries, what in the world did I do with it? Oh, Aries, I'm getting your numerology out of the Ralph deck. I'm getting you some advice out of the Soulful Woman. And we will also be reading from this deck if you would like to stay, Aries. Aries, the energies I see, strong Scorpio. Very, very strong Scorpio energy. Be aware of the Scorpio as well. Very, very strong Pisces energy here as well. Very, very strong. Be aware there needs to be a change. Dear God, what's the numerology advice for Aries sign? There's a new cycle here, Aries. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm saying psycho. <laughs> but there's a new cycle here, Aries sign, when it comes to your communication. Yes. You need to go after what makes you feel good here. If you follow your intuition, you'll walk, you, you'll make the right decision. Let me say that because there's a lot of offers here. Yeah. You'll let go of what you don't want anymore. Maybe a job or something that you were trying to invest in here when it came to your communication. There's a change in grounding yourself, which is beautiful. I'm getting you some extra advice out of the Jamundi deck. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of options here, or Aries, you just cheating. But there, even with all the options, someone is going to come in and they are going to, they could change everything here. This could be some really beautiful communication or nasty communication. You want to lick that? I want to lick this. You want to lick this? I want to lick that. Okay. It's been a long time. It has. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Jamundi deck is flower. Aries, be aware of the flowers, okay? Make sure you... um. Pick the right ones. Go towards the right ones. Bottom of the deck is quick saying here. Don't talk yourself in a heap of mess here. Okay? And don't struggle to be a good person. Just be a good person, Aries. Follow your intuition. You will sink and drown, Aries, if you don't trust your intuition. If you don't calm down and cut out the BS and cut out the lies here and just change for the better. Okay? You will fall. It That only makes sense, right? You need to tell the truth. There is communication coming in. There is guidance here, okay? You are protected here, okay? There is teamwork here. And apologies. Pretty flowers, but don't take a smell. Their petals are poison that will make you swell. Mm -hmm. Right? Be aware of the flowers here and don't move too fast don't move too fast Aries at the end of the day there's going to be beauty all around you you need to stop and examine mother earth just for a second that's how you catch your intuition that's how you catch your signs 
Okay. Who you some advice? I also see here, Aries, be careful of how you speak to people because somebody can seem nice, but baby, they'll snap. They will snap if you touch them the wrong way. They will snap if you do the wrong things here. Okay. But someone is saving, keeping, you know, getting their money together here. You could also be dealing with your mother or someone who has a mother energy here. But still, there needs to be a transition. There needs to be a change. Dear God, what's the advice for Aries' son dealing with Mercury and Virgo? Yeah. And Aries, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio. Wow. Shine bright like a diamond. Shining bright. Shine bright like a diamond. You are very wise, airy son. You just have to trust your intuition here. I was, I, I see somebody like, you know what? I look real good today. I look real good. <laughs> Self-belief. I look real nice today. You do? Oh, you do. You're very wise. You just have to get into that emperor, that ace of rods energy and go forward and speak your truth here. Get your mind together. Okay. Work on your crown chakra for sure and get out of this fear here. A cycle has to end, right? Before you can step into the new cycle, right? I shine my light and allow my creative power to burn bright. Okay. Someone is still kind of irritated though. Aries, if you want to stay at the end of the video, I am reading out of the Soulful Woman. If not, have a beautiful day or night. And please like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help, Aries. All right, Mercury and Aries. Uh, the most likely outcome for you with dealing with Mercury and Virgo here is box. Straight out of the coop and the blood. I don't know that song and I don't like it. Anyway, be aware that you need to let something go here or someone is letting go. And this could be towards grounding yourself or your finances here. But this is the all in about all in the way that you're communicating. Your communication has to change so something new can come in here. Okay. Reveal your secret power. Be aware of what you are releasing. Be aware of what you are investing in as well here. Be aware of your purse and your wallet, baby. Yes. Somebody could be just, it could be a child too, messing with your stuff. Okay. All in your stuff. This, you most definitely, some of you are starting your cycles, but you most definitely have to step out of the fear and create yeah and i do see pregnancy here too and you want to speak up about it you just feel like it could mm, just not <laughs> your focus is upside down okay change your perspective for sure and release make peace with things this is peace and harmony get towards water so you can express yourself i love to meditate next to water here and if it looks like you find peace you are able to release here uh some of you could be having your cycles in the water some of you could realize that your cycle hasn't come on and it's been like four days if you're cutting a third party situation off mercury and aries if you're ending it finally and you're going for this change, be peaceful. There's nothing wrong with being peaceful. You're not responsible for how they take it here. Your dreams will come true once you release as well. Okay? You will be able to manifest a family or just going towards what you want to do or working with the people that you want to work with here. Trust your intuition for sure about where you want to go. And make sure your words... Don't come back and bite you in a tail here. Okay? Make sure your words, make sure you're working with people. Okay? Because people will reflect and say things right back to you, Mercury and Aries. 
okay if you don't like i said don't don't bite the hand that feeds you okay because the person has stopped feeding you you need to change your perspective for sure there's a different direction to go in there's a different <laughs> way to flow okay dear god what's the numerology advice for mercury and aries dealing with mercury and virgo Dear God, spirits, angels, guardians, what's the numerology advice for Mercury and Aries dealing with Virgo and Mercury? You're dropping the burdens. You're going towards this new cycle here. You could be putting things together to make it really sweet here as well, especially if you're going to release here. You're making sure that it's the right thing. If you have to talk about this pregnancy, you're dropping the things that you were worried about and you're putting action behind your words here, okay? Don't fight with yourself, okay? And understand, ain't nobody fighting against you. If you arguing and carrying on, you arguing by yourself. You need to change that, though. Get rid of this mental conflict for sure, for sure. Get rid of this arguing here for sure, for sure. And accept the truth for sure, for sure. A lot of people could be letting go, or you could be letting go of a lot of people here. Someone is so stressed out, they're losing their hair. Be aware that stress could make you lose your hair. Okay? And I feel like uh, some of you... That made you stress out. <laughs> or when that hair starts to fall out, you're going to fall out. So, chill. That's my best advice. Chills, y'all. The Jumanji card, you are protected, love. You are protected, okay, on whatever decision you want to make. If you want to go into a new relationship, Mercury and Aries, speak about that. If you want God to come and help you with a little bit more, speak about that. You could talk to God. That's my best friend. I, I chit-chat with God all day. All day. You are protected. Trust your intuition on closing doors and opening new ones here. Don't speak out your butt. Only speak from the heart here. Okay, somebody could also be drowning in emotion or in a lot of trouble. Oh, quick on their feet. Covered in stripes. It's a thundering herd cloaked in black and white. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Someone's coming with some news, too. Be aware of zebras, too. <laughs> you know, I don't know what part of, you know, I don't know where you at. But be aware of zebras. They could be coming. Be aware of hunting as well. Be aware that someone could be watching you as well. Don't worry about communication if you pray first. Let it flow. Mercury and Aries, we have a lot of desire here, strong, strong Sagittarius energy, or just creative energy here. Be aware there could be another woman as well. Somebody could be cutting out another a woman. Oh, wait a minute. There's three women here. Yeah. Okay, be aware the Aquarius, Libra, Gemini probably isn't going to like the transition. Or they're the ones that's cutting it out. Igniting my joy. Going back and figuring out what you love, what you like, what makes you happy. I know that's right. Attuning to the highest good in myself and others ignites my natural joy here. Once you figure out what makes you happy, you can move forward. 
once you figure out what to say, you can move forward. Put a period on that sentence, baby. Loving from the inside. That's new. You are on a spiritual journey, Aries, Sun, and Mercury, and Aries trusted the flow of partnership, okay? I'm connected to myself and to the cosmos. Even as relationships enter or leave my life, I'm grateful for these gifts of connection and engagement wherever and whenever they occur. I feel at peace with this process. At times, my path takes me into relationship. At times, my path takes me into relationship, okay? At other times... I am called to gently release relationship and be on my own. As I journey forward, when I feel called to be in partnership, I relax into the process knowing what I will attract the knowing that I will attract the perfect partnership for me. I am open to the flow of life. I follow my unfolding journey with radical faith and courage. Knowing that I am always connected to the life pulse of the universe and that the right people come into my life at the right time. I know that's right. The ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. I mean, there's no S on this relationship. It's relationship. Partnerships, but relationship. Okay, we only need one. <laughs> We really only need one. All righty, Aries. I hope that helped with uh dealing with Mercury, with Virgo and Mercury right now. Okay. I really hope that helped. Um, have a beautiful day or night. Remember, follow your intuition, trust in God. Don't go to God and ask God a question and then renege on it. All right. God going to tell you where to go. Just listen to him and trust it and go where God is telling you to go. That's simple, right? It may look scary, but God don't mean you no harm. Trust and believe that. Have faith in your words and put some action behind them. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more insight. I would love to help Aries, Sun, Mercury, and Aries. If not, just have a beautiful day or night.